Could the weather be any better for the last plenary session in Strasbourg before the holidays? But before we leave for the recess, here's a look at some of the big topics for autumn. Welcome to the agenda. It's been the biggest story. Could Greece make a deal with creditors and stay in the Eurozone? Here in Strasbourg at the last plenary session of the summer, MEPs invited Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras. The tempers flared as some criticized the Prime Minister while others offered their advice. At the final hour, a deal was struck in Brussels and later passed by the Greek Parliament, but not without a bitter struggle. Tough months lie ahead. MEPs will continue to monitor the situation and some are even calling for a rethink of a Eurozone blueprint. The transatlantic trade deal has avoided the hangman's noose more times than you can count, but is it worth the fight? By doing away with regulatory barriers across a wide range of areas like manufacturing, food or transport, figures suggest that TTIP would boost the EU's economy by 120 billion euros or 0.5% of GDP and create millions of jobs. But critics argue that changes to the labour market could actually create unemployment, water down EU standards and lead to increased privatisation as US companies move in on public services. But the biggest snag is ISDS, the private arbitration mechanism where EU governments could be sued by private investors. The original ISDS method has been shot down by MEPs, but what form it now takes is still unclear. With choppy waters to navigate in the coming months, will Parliament give TTIP its seal of approval or banish it for good? Is Europe's obsession with security deadly? That's what protesters had to say when they staged a protest on the waters outside the Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg to show their solidarity with the thousands of migrants who have died trying to cross the waters of the Mediterranean into Europe. A tragedy that saw hundreds drown off the Mediterranean coast in April was the catalyst that finally galvanized European leaders to come up with a solution to the migrant crisis. But getting the action plan up and running has been no easy task. The sticking points were relocation in all EU member states of 40,000 migrants already arrived in Italy and Greece, and the resettlement of 20,000 refugees coming from third countries. You make it or you die. The finer details, how to go about doing this, are still to be decided. With some around the corner, MEPs gave consent to provide an extra 69.6 .6 million euros of funding to Frontex to help manage the situation better. And in December, the Civil Liberties Committee will present their own initiative report to the plenary. And now for some stories expected to hit the headlines in the autumn. It's become trendy to go organic. The industry has expanded so rapidly in the last five years that better quality controls are needed. Labelling and other quality ensuring measures are on the way. It's a law that could redefine the food we eat. Novel foods, which could soon include algae, fungi and would you believe it, insects, will be subject to stricter safety measures with the Parliament voting on proposed legislation in October. Despite being shelved by the Commission, the air quality package could be making a return with a few tweaks. Could the air we breathe get cleaner? You'll have to find out in October. A morally corrupt but legal tax system that allows member states to give favourable tax breaks to multinationals could be set to change. In November, Parliament's Special Committee on Tax, set up in the wake of the Luxleaks scandal, will issue its recommendations. Could Europe give a helping hand to its flagging economy? One idea being proposed is a capital markets union by 2018. We'll find out more when the project gains momentum in October. The Civil Liberties Committee approved a draft passenger name record text that includes strong data protection safeguards. Negotiations with other institutions will begin shortly. The last step is sometimes hard to make. So too for the final pillar of the railway package reforms affecting domestic travel. Technical issues have now been resolved, so expect movement on the right track next term. With CO2 levels rising dramatically, the environmental impact in the next 30 years could be devastating. The need for a global climate change agreement is now more than ever. Can it be reached in Paris? The big polluters like China and the US are finally on board, so it's looking positive that a global agreement can be reached to lower emissions. Will this be the last tango in Paris or will world leaders default on saving the environment? Wait and see in December. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the holidays.